Hello, welcome to Sue Tasty. In this video, we will talk about the water-soluble vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 is thiamine, which is a water-soluble vitamin. Thiamine is essential for producing energy from carbohydrates in all human body cells. Thiamine helps regulate metabolism. Thiamine may contribute to maintaining mental function. How much thiamine do we need? For males aged 14 and older, the RDA of thiamine is 1.2 mg daily. For females aged 14 through 18, the RDA is 1.0 mg daily, and for females 19 and older, the RDA is 1.1 mg daily. Because refined grains are typically enriched with thiamine, thiamine deficiency is rare in the United States and Canada. However, there is one exception. Chronic alcoholics may experience a deficiency of thiamine as their bodies may not be able to convert thiamine to its bioactive form. If you consume excess amounts of thiamine, the body excretes any extra amount that is consumed. Where are the good food sources of thiamine? Thiamine is widely distributed in foods. A large proportion of the thiamine is consumed from enriched products in Canada. Canadian regulations mandate that thiamine be added to white flour and pasta labeled as enriched and other foods such as infant formula, simulated meats, simulated egg products, and meal replacement products. Whole grain and enriched grain products such as bread, pasta, tortillas, and fortified cereals provide much of the thiamine we eat. Pork, legumes, nuts, seeds, and animal organ meats, liver, kidney, heart, are also good sources of thiamine. The thiamine in foods may be destroyed during cooking or storage because thiamine is sensitive to heat, oxygen, and low acid conditions. Thiamine bioavailability is also affected by anti-thiamine factors that destroy thiamine. For instance, if some foods such as raw shellfish are consumed raw, the enzymes in the raw food degrade thiamine during food storage, preparation, and passage through the gastrointestinal tract. However, these enzymes can be destroyed by cooking with heat. Therefore, this is only a concern in consuming raw foods. There are also anti-thiamine factors found in tea, coffee, blueberries, and red cabbage. These factors are not destroyed by cooking with heat, making thiamine unavailable to the body. Therefore, Habitual high consumption of foods containing anti-thiamine factors may cause an increased risk of thiamine deficiency. Sue Tasty made this video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.